What's up everybody, it's Wabacha, and I wanted to record myself doing a little crafting session. Uh, a lot of people do this. This is a great way to make some money in temporary leagues. I just, you essentially just craft via just alking rings and belts and things like that. And what I'm going to do is after I craft it, I'm just going to pick out any of the ones that are decent. And I'm also going to kind of explain why I think they're decent and what builds these things would generally be good for. And I'll probably have some other um, examples of what I've sold. Uh, I've been taking screenshots for this little thing Hegemony has been doing on his channel. Uh, I like to call it Hegemony's Price is Right. I don't know if he's still doing it, but essentially uh, we are showing, or he is showing screenshots that I am taking that he the is taking to this one of is items that we're selling and you know, just kind of giving people an idea of actual item value, which is something that's kind of hard for people to grasp KB or for boss. players to grasp. Oh, and hood and word. Next one. Here we have an open prefix. No, actually, we, we don't know. Waba didn't tell us. It's a rarity roll that could be a prefix or a suffix. Mana, ES, and really good cold res. And yes, this is sponsored by Wabacha. It was an open prefix. Okay, he he's letting us know it's an open prefix. Nobody has guessed this price. But Mike G is close yet again. Here we go. It is 17 chaos. PHC. That said, let's go ahead and just start crafting. <clears throat> I have 55 items here. Uh, these are all... The belts aren't necessarily all level 75 or higher. Some of them are level 74. But all these rings are item level 75. All these onyx amulets, I had actually did the uh, onyx... Or the amulet recipe 2 where you take an amulet any amulet and you put in a red gem, blue gem, and a green gem and you actually get in an onyx base. You could move these around to make sure you always get 16 but I don't even bother with that because uh, I feel like they're just really easy to bless and if you get a good amulet someone's gonna buy it regardless of the base. So let's go ahead and start doing this. So, and the reason why I'm actually uh, alking unset rings too, I wouldn't generally suggest alking unset rings, but I am I am alking them specifically because I could use a good unset ring for the build I'm currently playing. And it's also a good way to get items for a build that you are playing. So let's go look at the belts first. So this belt is any good. This is a miss. This is a miss. This one, if this one had life on it, um, so you could craft a resist on it, it would be decent. But these are misses so far. And nope, not any good. This one's okay once it gets life on it, but that's about it. This one is okay, but again, like this isn't something that we're really going to be looking for. I'm going to list this for one chaos, um, maybe two, and... For that reason, it's going to pay for a couple alks. Prophecy League is a really good league to alk things in. I know it's really late in the league, too. But you can still make money from doing things like this, or currency, rather. Uh, this is a pretty good belt, actually. And we could go ahead and look what's on it available. We just have a prefix available. But uh, between the strength roll is a little low, and that life roll is a little low. But the ES roll is good. And... The twenty, the chaos resist is actually pretty good uh, because if you are playing a live ES hybrid build, you're gonna want chaos resist. So that's actually a pretty okay belt. Uh, this one, this belt is okay. It has a suffix open. You can tell it has a suffix open because it has two prefixes on it, being the life and the energy shield. And for that reason, you could throw on another resist. And this makes that a decent belt that someone could buy if they're looking for that. So we'll keep that too. And so here's another belt. This one, I'm going to go ahead and put this over here. 
along with these. Even though the life roll is decent on the ES, there's really nothing else on it. Uh, okay, here we go. Now this is a pretty decent belt. Um, we have a low strength roll, a good e a good ES roll, uh, like tier three cold roll, and then the flash charges gain roll is actually pretty good. I believe this has a prefix open on it. Yeah. So this means you can slap life on here, and this is this is actually a decent belt. Um, we're not going to go into pricing these all, but because that would actually take considerably longer. This belt, this belt is okay, uh, but this is actually so. Whenever you're crafting items, see I have all these tabs right here. All these tabs are actually listed in on Poe Trade even though I wouldn't keep most of these belts. And the reason being is that I am, you know, I am going through and I am using them using them for the chaos recipe, but when you do list all your tabs, people will message you for an item that you you generally wouldn't sell and then you could sell it. So if I say I'm going to use this this belt right here for the chaos recipe when it's in this tab if someone messaged me and says, hey, I want it, and they say, I want to buy the Miracle Leash Rustic Sash, you know, I know if they say one chaos or I'm going to say, you know, one chaos or maybe three Alks or something like that, um, I'm automatically getting that currency back in a little bit more. So I would suggest always listing all your tabs. Well, let's keep looking. Uh, this is no good. Nothing on it. No good. This one is... This one's pretty good. Uh, the fire resist is a little low, but it has a good strength roll on it. Uh, so we could we could put a pre there's a prefix open on this because strength and f the resist those are the three suffixes. Uh, so you could put movement speed on here. You could put uh, weapon elemental damage on here. You could even put energy shield on here. So this is a decent build. This is an okay belt. So we have, it has a suffix available, I believe, because I believe armor is a prefix. So yeah, someone could throw a resist on here. Um, good life roll, mid strength roll, low ES roll, flash charges gained, right? Yeah, flash charges gained, that one's okay. Uh, this is not really that good. The strength roll is good, but everything else on that is garbage. Uh, this belt is pretty good. This just needs a, a life roll on it. Um, it. But it is definitely, definitely has a prefix open. So we can keep that. And the armor roll is decent. Not as good as it can be, but it's decent. Uh, this one has a you know tier one life roll on it, but I would actually throw this over here. This is another one that someone might actually see, uh, and they you know if they just give me a chaos for it, that's fine. This one, pretty solid it looks like. Uh, let's see, I can't really recall the stun recovery. I need to remember this. So the stun recovery, the stun and block recovery is a suffix. I need to remember that. But this one has a decent life roll, a good fire resist roll. This is definitely something that I would maybe sell for a couple of chaos. So these are okay. This one's no good. And then this one, this one has a lot of life on it. So this is another one that I would actually add over here. I would anticipate someone buying this though. So if someone does message me for it, I'll just ask like for two chaos. So these are the belts. We'll get rid of those. All right. And then another thing I really like to do is whenever I'm selling crafted items, I like to put them in a tab that's actually labeled crafted because I like to know the difference between items that I out and items that I, you know, actually just found. But that's just me. So let's go look at the amulets or everything else. Okay, so spell damage, mana, uh, rarity, this one, that's not really worth selling in my opinion, but it's gonna be listed. Uh, this one, resistor low, accuracy, that damage, that lightning damage is low. It has a prefix open on it, which is fine, but I don't really see anybody buying this. 
If they do, it's going to be one chaos. Uh, 23 all attributes. No, this one's not very good. And then, so, okay, so this is an amulet that um, I would kind of struggle with a little bit because it has 20% increased maximum energy shield, which is really nice to get on there, but, you know, because that's something that people pay an exalt for from the Mastercraft. Uh, the only thing is it only ha it has a prefix and a suffix open, so I'm just going to keep this one over here. This will be my decent side. Oh, here we go. Another another example of it. So this one's actually considerably better because uh, it has it's on a different base, being the twenty or the dexterity intelligence base. Uh, it has two good resist on it. So someone and with the armor, the armor doesn't really matter because someone's just going to craft a, another prefix on this or another suffix, uh, either all res or energy shield. So this one, but this one's actually this one's actually pretty damn good. Uh, this one, not very good. Enough said. <laughs> this one, a lot of stats, but not very good. This one is not very good either. It has some decent stuff on it, but not very good. Another thing about rarity is uh, you do kind of have to struggle with rarity uh, because rarity can stack. You could have rarity on a prefix and a suffix. But this one is, I think this is a tier one prefix. I don't know. But the ring's not very good. I wouldn't really bother with that ring. Uh, this ring is pretty good. Uh, this has this has two good elemental rolls on it, a uh, mid-life roll. This is better than a crafted life roll, so that's good. And then it has a decent cold resist. It's on a life base, so it has good life. You could put another resist on here. Uh, that's actually a pretty good elemental damage ring. There's a lot of damage on that ring. Not a ton, but enough. Uh, this ring is pretty good. And the reason being that it has a uh, has a decent life roll, or not a decent life roll, a decent strength roll, and an okay mana roll, and a tier three lightning roll. So that's definitely worth a couple of chaos. Someone will be able to pick that up pretty easily. It has a prefix open for sure. So, and then, so this ring, if those rolls were better, it would be worth something because it has 48 decks on it, but not really worth anything. Oh man, this ring, another one. Uh, this is something that, again, we're not going to actually list um, for more than one chaos because even when you do elk something, you get a single chaos for it. You know, it's it is paying for itself. You know, eventually, if it does make itself into the chaos tab, then or if it makes itself to the chaos recipe, then that's fine. But I wouldn't ask for more than a chaos on this because the life roll isn't really that good, and I don't think someone would want to drop um, an exalt and get the energy shield percent on this because if they have that kind of currency, they could get a better ring. Uh, this is garbage. This is garbage. And this is also garbage. Has wet on it. This is also garbage. This one's closer to being better, but it's garbage. All right, so here's one that is actually okay. So between the cast speed and the global crit, there's definitely a prefix open on this. So it could get life or you get the percent energy shield. So that one's actually pretty solid. Uh, it has flat energy shield on it and a little bit of evasion. Not It's not a good roll, but it's definitely not just a one chaos thing, but it's not worth more than like, I'd say five probably. Uh, okay, so here we go. We have our first kind of decent ring, uh, but I'm also going to just list this as one chaos. I fully expect someone to try to buy that. Um, it has a decent life roll. Let's see if this is a... See, this is kind of what I was referring to earlier. Sometimes when you have a, a rarity roll on it, you don't know if it's a prefix or a suffix or both. 
So hopefully, hopefully that rarity role, I would say hopefully it's a prefix. Um, and you could just check by throwing in Elrion, and it is a suffix. So, but it's it would be it would have been possible that this was actually full up. Now, the reason why I say I hoped it was a prefix is because this ring doesn't have a lot of resist on it, and if the rarity had been a prefix, then you could get some more resist on there, and that would have been a little bit better. So, this is another ring that. I'm just going to throw in the one chaos ring tab. Uh, here we go. Okay, this is a decent ring. Uh, prefixes are full because that's two elemental damage to attacks rolls, a good life roll, and the 4.6 life regen per second. Bleh. But the 15 all res is really good. This is actually a pretty solid ring. I would say probably the range of 5 to 10 chaos. This amulet, okay, another good amulet. This is a spot where you need to figure out if that rarity is a prefix or a suffix. And it actually will, so if it was a suffix, that would kind of suck. And it is a suffix. So you could only get prefixes on this. Um, that that kind of sucks, but it's still, it's got a good life roll on it, a tier two lightning resist roll on it. So that's okay. And, okay, not very good. A lot of rarity, but if people want to buy rarity, they get a Ventor's Gamble. And another ring, not very good. This is a decent amulet, and I will tell you why. So, the all attributes, or the spell damage is a prefix, the mana is a prefix, all attributes is a suffix, and the resist is a suffix as well. Uh, this is flexible because we could get whatever we need on it. We could throw some life on there. We could we could put some flat ES on there. But uh, it has a pretty fair amount of resist already. And it has um, some good all stats. And, and honestly, stats are the thing on items that really makes it, uh, like really carries a lot of value. Like I'll show you some examples after these. Okay, so another decent uh, amulet. There's more resist on this. Unfortunately, uh, the spell damage and the max energy shield roll is low, and the physical damage to attacks is not really that useful. Maybe a build that was like a uh, like a crown of eyes, like physical, like attack build would use it. But I'm not going to say it's worth more than 3 Chaos. And then this ring. This is actually a pretty good ring for Mjolnir. Because it has 30 plus, 30 plus strength, 40 plus int. But a pretty solid Mjolnir ring. Uh, it has a little bit of cold damage to attacks, which I don't know how well that would go for Mjolnir. But I would actually keep this. Um, you could get another, there's only prefixes available on it, so someone could throw life on there or whatever. Uh, this is not a very good ring. This is a pretty good amulet. Let's see if that rarity, oh, you know, okay, so real quick before we check this. For sure, there is not a prefix available on this, but there's a suffix available, and we could tell that because the max roll for rarity is going to be 25 or 24%. So that means there are two rolls on this. So as we can see, oh, I'm, I totally lied. Oh man, ignore me. So it has a prefix and a suffix. Now I feel bad. I thought it was 24%. I'm actually gonna look now. So this is a suffix, item rarity. I'll be damned, excavation goes up to 26%. The suffix goes up to 26%. For rarity which would be of excavation oh and there's a new one okay well for item level 62 and above you can get dragons on your prefix so that means that would go up to 24 percent this is of excavation so this is a tier one suffix for rarity and this is actually a pretty good amulet this is a pretty good amulet uh it, rarity is something that 
players will pay for. And especially when you are looking for this item, if someone does look for this item, they're going to see, um, you know, that has a decent rarity roll on it and they're going to, they're going to ask. So, so yeah, that one's pretty good. Uh, this ring is garbage. It's got a lot going on. It looks a lot better than it actually is. This ring is also garbage. This amulet would have been okay, but we're going to put that in the 1C tab. Garbage. This is, this one is okay, but I'm going to keep that in the 1C tab. The mana is low and most people don't really look for mana. This might be a little, have a little bit more value in a different meta, but the value wouldn't go up that much. Oh man, this ring, this ring had everything it needed to actually be a decent ring. Um, this actually still might hold a little bit of value, even though it has those two uh, troll rolls being the fire damage and the life roll. Um, and now this is because it has 40 plus dexterity on it and it has a suffix open. So someone might be able to throw um, another, or they will be able to throw another resist on there. And so if you're looking at like a low life build, uh, this could be a band-aid ring. This could be a ring because if you were low life, you would probably want, you know, some chaos resist, flat ES, dexterity, and two resist on the actual ring with a prefix open so you could put in um, the percent increase energy shield. But this is definitely like a band-aid ring, and I'm going to actually price that accordingly. I'm just going to say like three chaos for that. This is garbage, but let's go ahead and check to see what I was talking about earlier. If this is a, because if this is a, let's see. So there should be, yeah, this, this is definitely the, um, the tier one suffix because there are no more suffixes available. So yeah, but this ring is also not very good. Uh, the flat damage roll is okay. I mean, this ring is actually okay, but it, the thing is it just has no resist on it. So, um, other than the implicit. And this ring is also garbage. So yeah, I expect a few of these rings, you know, let's go ahead and pick out the ones that will, I think will sell pretty quickly when, if they are listed at one, at one chaos. So... I think this one will probably sell at one chaos. This one will probably sell one. Do, 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 do. And the reason why I'm going to do this is to kind of show you guys. Um, this one will. Uh, uh, this one will probably sell one chaos. But yeah, I'm going to. I'm showing this to you guys so you, we all understand that even even if you get these ones that aren't like clearly good when they sell for you know that price of one chaos they still really help you cover your cost of the of the craft so so let's just say these six rings cover uh one cat or you know or one chaos each so right now in the prophecy hardcore league you could get four alks for a chaos so that means this is 24 alks so how many, I mean, so after we subtract the six that, you know, we used for this, this means this will actually make us 18 Alks if they sell. It's a little slow right now, so they may not. But with 18, as you can see right here, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have 17 right here. So these, or these actually right here cover the cost of crafting all of these, okay? But then when we go over here, it gets it gets a lot better, right? So this is an amulet that that, that will probably sell. Um, let's just I'm gonna be conservative and say this sells for four chaos. I like to price my things a little bit lower to actually ensure that I make something back. And we'll do the same thing for that. These two are four chaos, so that's eight. This one I'll say three eleven. This ring, um, we'll just say that's three two. So 14, this one, you could definitely get like five for that, I think. 
19, and see another 3, 22, boom, 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 25, 28. I would have to price this one, but well, I'm going to say 3 chaos too. None of these are like really that good. 31, 34. Uh, this one's actually probably like the the best one out of all that. Uh, 34, let's just say 37. And let's just say I got six chaos for this. That might be a little low. But right here, potentially what I would price these all at, what I would trade them all at is 43 chaos right now. So as you can see, I spent 55 alks right and the pure profit that i'm going to be getting will be 43 chaos times four that's 132 alks i spent 55 minus 18 so yeah that's pretty good that's pretty good profit margin i'd say and you know that wasn't too hard you could do this very easily by just you know running some tier seven plus maps these are all 75 plus bases and yeah so there you go there's a little crafting session for you with a little bit of um, figuring out what's good or not at the end so if you guys have any questions about this you know let me know and you know, check out check out Hegemony's stream also because he's been he's been doing the Hegemony's prices right, which I find to be super entertaining, probably way more entertaining than it actually is, but I think it's a uh, it's pretty useful for new players and experienced players alike uh, because you know I played a lot of different builds. I recognize that this ring has potential value, even though it looks really kind of hit or miss. So the fact that I played a lot of different builds lets me really understand, you know, what I could actually sell. This is another good example too. Um, so, you know, you may not have the time to play all the builds that you know me or Hegemony or any number of these other streamers or personalities have. I mean, if you have, then you could probably recognize this. Um, but yeah, there you guys go. So we all know. So yeah, everyone, thanks. Have a good one. See you later.